Hi there traders, I'm Todd Gordon. Today I want to talk to you about a very important trading methodology that myself and many other traders around the world use today, have used for years, and will use for many years in the future, and that is the Elliott Wave Principle. It's a style of trading analysis for any major market that you trade, uh, and really in any time frame you trade, to help you detect patterns. And specifically what we're looking for is trends and corrections. Okay, The idea with Elliott Wave is to figure out when a trend is in, in progress, how long it should last, and also when the trend is getting a little overdone and set for a correction. Okay, at the end of the day, what we're looking to do is align ourselves with the direction of the trend, whether we're short-term, five-minute chart traders, longer-term investors, whatever time frame you, you prefer to trade with, LA Wave Theory is for you. The idea is to be involved in the trend, out as the trend is starting to exhaust itself, out of the position when the market begins to correct, reload your positions, and then move up in the next trend. That's really what we're looking to do here. So Elliott Wave is, can be a little overcomplicated. It's often misunderstood. But for those of you who have taken the time to learn Elliott, it's an incredibly powerful trading methodology used by many of today's hedge funds, many of the analysts at the investment banks that service those hedge funds, many private traders. Uh, the list goes on and on. So let's dive into it a little bit here and get to know the Elliott Wave Theory. Now, I like to make an analogy of trading okay, with the famous works of Sun Tzu. He did all kinds of uh, brilliant research and analysis on preparation and, and execution of a war. But many people like to make the similarities and draw the comparison between trading and war. And the teachings of Sun Tzu is incredibly applicable to trading. And the thing is, it's especially applicable when you're trading within the context of Elliott Wave. And that is every battle is won before it's fought. Okay? I think that is so true in trading that if, if more traders kind of subscribe to this message of preparation before jumping into a trade, okay, a lot more people would be successful in uh, today's trading markets. There is no better methodology that I know of that can help us pre-plan our trade before we dive in and start risking our valuable capital. If you are going through the very um, principles of Elliott Wave, you are preparing yourself for a battle, for a trade. And that's what we like to do every single day. So to use Elliott Wave is to go into a trade prepared. Okay, And that is more than half the battle. Uh, with trading. So let's get dive into it a little bit here. Elliott Wave, first to give you a little history. Specifically, Elliott Wave is rooted in classic Dow theory. Who's Charles Dow? Charles Dow is really what we consider the grandfather of technical analysis. He is the founder of the J Dow Jones Corporation with the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, the Wall Street Journal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but Dow Jones, who you should know, Charles Dow, uh, gave us the very basics and the beginnings of technical analysis with his three phases of a market trend. Okay? They are accumulation as a move is getting started. They are widespread participation as more people get involved in the move. And they are distribution as markets start to take profits and people start to exit the position. From there, we reset and the market sets up for another three phase trend to the upside. So again, we have the accumulation, widespread participation, and then distribution over here. Then we reset with a correction and the three step process begins again. Okay, now, how does that help with Elliott? Specifically, Elliott Wave uses that core model and then takes it to the next level. We dive inside of each of those three trend phases. We get inside of the intervening corrections. We really assign different mathematical values and expectations and targets and invalidation points to each kind of wave of a sequence to begin formulating trading plans. And the next quote I'm going to read you, I really want you to pay attention to the parts about the trading application of Elliott Wave. This is from Andrew Baptiste. He's the chief technical analyst of Morgan Stanley Investment Bank from 99 2011. 
as well as the, um, uh, he was at J.P. Morgan. I have those dates off a little bit. Uh, and I have to apologize because uh, Drew is a friend of mine, so I'm going to have to rewrite his resume. But prior to 1999, he was at J.P. Morgan. Um, he is quoted as saying, uh, in essence, the wave principle is a simple rule-based methodology that allows a practitioner to dissect the collective mindset of market participants. And here's the key for defined, attractive, positive risk-reward trading. It's a game plan. Not only, Andrew, let's take a look at a classic from um, Market Wizards. Okay, if you're a trader today, I highly recommend you to you read this if you haven't already. Uh, Paul Tudor Jones, my one of my personal heroes in Market Wizards. Um, and this is a quote from Tudor. The reason he's been so successful is the Elliott Wave allows one to create incredibly favorable risk-reward opportunities. It's the same reason I attribute a lot of my own success to the Elliott Wave approach. If you're not sure who Paul Tudor Jones is, let me just take a couple seconds here to introduce you to Tudor. In his lifetime, he's donated over $1.25 billion to charity through his Robin Hood Foundation. That would be because his Tudor uh, Investment Corporation has netted him uh, over $3 billion in personal profits and many, many more profits for other people around the world. I attended one of these Robin Hood Foundations uh, this year, and I actually watched the room head up by Tudor raise almost $60 million in charity profits, in charity, um, in charity donations. Um, so Tudor is somebody you should really, really pay attention to, okay? So the Ellie Wave principle, um, if you've heard of it, uh, people tend to think it's a little difficult, okay? People might think it's a little overly complicated, but it really is just a set of rules. It's not like it's written in Chinese, okay? We can understand it and you can apply it if you just follow a couple simple rules. So let's start here with the basic trend wave or what we call motive wave, okay? First, off the lows after an extended decline, you get a first wave rally. Wave two sets back. This is your first correction. Wave three unfolds in a nice breakout move. We then get another corrective wave, which is your second corrective wave. And then finally, we move up in wave five. Now, each of those five waves have different characteristics that you're gonna look for as that trend is unfolding. And again, these can happen anywhere from a five minute chart up to a, a multi-year chart. You're gonna look for these different characteristics throughout a good Elliott trend, regardless of the time frame you're on. Let's get into some of the rules specifically of that five wave pattern. Number one, your first correction, which is wave two, cannot go below the beginning of wave one. Basically, this correction can't move below the start of the new uptrend, else it's not really an uptrend. The next one is wave two. Um, actually, that's gonna be this fourth wave can't go into the territory of wave two. The corrections need to be removed from each other. Okay, they can't touch. Finally, Wave three is not the shortest of the trend waves. Your trend waves are one, three, and five. Wave three must be at least longer than one or five. Usually it's the longest, but it can't be the shortest, and that's the key rule you wanna keep in mind. Now, let's turn to Fibonacci, okay? Fib goes with Elliott hand in hand, especially for a trader. The analogy I like to use with Fibonacci and Elliott is Fibonacci is that little scale at the bottom left hand, right hand side of a, of a chart. Okay, of a chart. I've got charts on the mind of a um, of a map. Okay, of a street map. We happen to be looking at a, at a at a map of Las Vegas here. And if you've ever looked at a map and tried to walk from one casino to the to the next, it looks pretty short. Um, but then when you actually get out there, you realize how far apart those casinos are and how long the walk it is. The reason being is you're missing the scale. You don't know how long the journey is because you got to know how long it is from, from let's say, Harrah's to uh, up to the Wynn Shopping Center. Okay, That's the analogy we like to use between Elliott and Fib. Fib tells you how long the, the path or the streets of Elliott will take and will obviously will, will, will get you to your destination, which will be your take profit objective, okay? So 
Elliott and Fibonacci, a couple, a couple keys here. There's four specific uh, tools of Fib that we're going to use to measure the, the Elliott waves. Uh, they isolate support and resistance within an Elliott trend or correction. The support and resistance levels become your entry and exit points for trade setups. Using Elliott and Fib, you're simply looking to buy at support and sell at resistance. So together, the two go hand in hand and create a rock solid trading methodology. For example, this is the, one of the most recent trades we've had on, buying a wave two pullback in the S&P using a combination of Elliott and Fibonacci. We had a 1964 minimum target in the S&P, 1988 ideal target in the S&P, and there we go, right up to the targets, and this is today's chart. Where this unfolds, we're looking for a wave four pullback, We'll use our typical Fibonacci ratios to figure out how far Wave 4 is going to go before we finally have another move up in Wave 5 here in the S&P. Okay, traders, so hopefully that gives you a quick overview of what Elliott Wave is, how it works with Fibonacci, what it means to you as a trader, and also the history of where Elliott Wave comes from, which is in fact founded by the grandfather of technical analysis, Charles Dow. So I encourage you to take a look at Elliott Wave look at the rules and guidelines that we use to set up trades. And I think like Sun Tzu, you'll be more kind of pre-planned and prepared to go into a battle slash trade. And when you're pre-planned heading into a trade, you have a lot more confidence to carry out your trade to its fullest ability. And that is going to make a big difference for you at the end of your week, quarter, and year. All right, guys, good luck. Hope that helps. And we'll see you around in the market.